शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ फेब्रुअरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन दिस टीचर इज बॉडी लेस एंड यू देर फोर हैव टू मेक एफर्ट टू हैव रिमेम्बरेंस वेल रिमेम्बरिंग बाबा when the examination is over you will then go home and then go home question you children have to make effort to stay in remembrance so what should you never be deceived by answer when you have a vision of a soul and you see a sparkling light there is no benefit in that It isn't that by having a vision or by receiving Baba's drishti, your sins are cut away or you receive liberation. No, in that case you would be deceived even more. Make effort to have remembrance. It is only by making this effort that you will reach your karma these days. It isn't that when Baba gives you drishti, you become pure. You have to make effort. Om Shanti the spiritual father sits here and explains to you children he educates you and teaches you yoga yoga is not a big thing when children are studying they definitely have yoga with their teacher they think such and such a teacher teaches us to make us the same as himself you have that aim and objective you understand it you study in that particular class the teacher there doesn't have to tell you to have yoga with him you automatically have yoga with the one who is teaching you he doesn't teach you the whole day you have been studying that for birth after birth and have developed that practice here this practice of yours is completely new that one is not a bodily teacher that one is the bodiless teacher whom you meet every 5000 years he himself says i am not your bodily teacher that's why this remembrance doesn't remain you have to consider yourselves to be souls and that the supreme father the supreme soul the teacher is teaching you you definitely have to remember the teacher until you pass your examination by remembering him you will pass your examination and you will then go home as soon as your examination is over the drama will finish you children know that you have to play the parts of 84 births that are recorded in you souls you know this now at the end when you are there you will not remember this you receive all of this knowledge here the teacher himself sits here and explains all of this knowledge to you children which you then have to continue to understand and you also definitely have to stay in remembrance the father repeatedly says man mana bhav man mana bhav has a meaning you children understand that the word is right the father himself says remember me and your sins will be absolved this takes time you have to check yourselves just as there are other subjects in a study history math science etc and students can understand to what extent they will pass so it is in the intellects of you children that you will pass with so many marks Each of you has to check yourself to see that you do not forget Baba. Many write Baba, Maya repeatedly makes us forget you. We have many storms of Maya. We have many negative thoughts. Because of not understanding, they write Baba. There is no sin in this, is there? We have such negative thoughts. When we see someone, we have the thoughts, I want to do this. there is no sin in that is there the father says no sin is committed when you perform those acts with your physical organs 
Baba repeatedly continues to explain to you. You children have this knowledge. You know why Vishnu and Sri Krishna have been given the discuss of self-realization. They have portrayed him killing Akasur and Bakasur, brackets devils with it. There is no question of killing anyone. It is a matter of cutting away your sins. Sib Baba is also called the spinner of the discuss of self-realization. He has the knowledge of the whole cycle. The soul has received from the father the knowledge of how the world cycle turns. You have to adopt the discuss of self-realization and burn away your sins. Imbibe knowledge and remember the father. Only by remembering the father will your sins be absolved. Each one of you has to make effort for yourself. It isn't that Baba will sit and give you drishti so that your sins are cut away. The father doesn't sit and do that business. In fact, he does look at everyone. Sins will not be absolved by him looking at you or giving you knowledge. The father shows you the way. Do this and that and your sins will be absolved. He gives you Srimad. Okay, for instance, when the father comes, he looks at you, considering you to be souls. It isn't that our sins are cut away by his doing that. No, sins are cut away through our own efforts. If the father were to sit and do that, that would become a business. The father explains, you are able to remember your worldly father in that way. This father is the one who gives you Srimad. Each of you has to make your own effort. Many think that the drishti of such and such a sage or sannyasi is enough. However, even after experiencing their mercy and blessings, people continue to fall. What kind of mercy would they have? They only remember their great element of Brahm. The father clearly shows you the way. He says, do this and that. You sing, we came bodiless and we have to return home bodiless. That refers to this time. The versions of the father are then useful on the path of devotion. The father says, now remember me and your sins will be absolved. The father gives you Srimad. This is his part in the drama. You can call it his help. Srimad is remembered according to the drama. The father has to give you directions. He says, consider yourselves to be souls. It isn't that he will give you help and take you into the karma these days. No, it takes time. You have to make a lot of effort. You have to have a very good practice of considering yourself to be a soul. In fact, Mothers have a lot of time. Men are concerned with their business. You children have to claim your lottery while remembering the father so that all the rust is removed. You feel that so and so is a good effort maker because he keeps his chart. Similarly, on the path of devotion, they sit for 2-3 to three hours. Those who are in the stage of retirement Adopt many guru, etc. But they still don't remember them, brackets gurus, as much as they remember the deities. In fact, deities do not have to be remembered, nor do deities ever teach you anything. This is not anything new for you children, nor is it a matter of hundreds of thousands of years. The father comes when the task of establishment and restriction have to take place. You children know that destruction takes place every cycle. It also took place in the previous cycle. You continue to write that this also happened 5000 years ago. The path that the father shows you to attain him is nothing new. The father says I come every cycle and show you the path. You children know that your kingdom is being established. The kingdom of the deities whom you worship is once again being established. The cycle of 5000 years continues to turn. People go crazy. They are all following the directions of Maya. 
they do not know the meaning of burning raban your names are spinners of the discourse of self realization your aim and objective is in front of you baba has given you souls the knowledge that he has when the cycle of the drama comes to an end the father comes and gives you this knowledge the father himself comes and teaches you these actions later when you go on to the path of sin the night begins and we continue to come down happiness continues to decrease you have the whole cycle in your intellects exactly as it is in the father's intellect however you have to make effort to become pure this is why you call out baba come and make us impure ones pure so this knowledge is needed you have to change from human beings into deities the father comes to teach you children raj yoga no one else knows how to teach you that you call out to the purifier father baba come and make us pure you are now becoming pure and charitable souls the history and geography of the world is being repeated these are such deep matters people neither know souls nor the supreme soul only the father tells you what souls are like and what their parts are it is a wonder how a whole part is recorded in a tiny soul as soon as you hear this you have goose pimples some people have a vision of a soul they see a spark of light however what is the benefit of that here you have to have yoga people think that by having a vision they have attained liberation or that their sins have been burnt in fact they are deceived even more the father continues to explain everything to you he says i am telling you deep things you have the knowledge of the whole cycle in your intellects simply remember baba and the cycle also remember the teacher and this knowledge according to the drama you will attain your karma the this days by remembering him you have to return bodiless just as you came bodiless you carry your divine sanskars with you there is no knowledge there this is called easy remembrance people become confused by the word yoga those people are hath for hath brackets force yogis only the father teaches you easy yoga previously you heard that the god of the gita had taught easy yoga however you didn't know him due to having 100% misunderstanding people have become impure there are innumerable directions the gita scripture is for those who live at home with their families you are those of the family path at first your path was the pure family path and it has now become the impure family path it now has to become pure once again the father is ever pure he comes to give you shrimat the father says at this time all have become satmu pradhan at first you were satu pradhan we were also satu pradhan at first and we then became tamu pradhan anyone who comes the pope priest etc are at first satu pradhan and then as addition takes place the whole tree becomes tamu pradhan it is now in its stage of total decay you children understand that you were satu pradhan and that you have become tamu pradhan number wise you now have to become satu pradhan once again you will become that number wise according to the drama there is a lot of detail the seed knows how the tree emerges from him only the father tells you the secrets of this human world tree He is also the master of the garden. He knows that his garden was very beautiful. The father has this knowledge. There was such a first class garden of God. Now it is a double as garden. The kingdom of Raban is called Satan. There is violence everywhere. They are all sitting ready with atomic bombs etc. 
Everyone knows that those things are not for storing and that destruction definitely has to take place through them. If destruction were not to take place, how could the golden age come? This is very clear. However, they saw that the great Mahabharat war took place and that only the five Pandavas were saved and that they too then melted away. However, there could not have been any result through that. The father sits here and explains that this drama is predestined. Bharat was looted and they are now giving the return. They will continue to give till the end. You know that everything will be destroyed in destruction when it was our kingdom. There were no other kingdoms. History must repeat. Bharat will become heaven once again. There will be the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. There is no mention of any other land there. It is now the end of the Iron Age and there will then be the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. We are once again becoming that. The father says, I have come to teach you Raj Yoga. You have become those masters many times, every cycle. It used to be their kingdom over the whole world. They were very wise. There, they don't need to take advice from advisors, etc. This drama is predestined and it will repeat. They call the Sri Krishna temple the land of happiness. Se Baba comes and establishes the land of happiness. They themselves say that Bharat was heaven 3000 years before Christ. At first there was one religion and then the other religions came. You children should be amazed at how Baba is giving you sovereignty. The father comes and gives you the fruit of your devotion. It is so easy. However, only those who understood it in the previous cycle will understand it again, number-wise, according to the efforts they make. Acha, to the sweetest beloved long-lost and now-found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children, and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharana number one, adopt the discuss of self-realization and burn your sins away. Be careful that you don't perform any sinful acts through your physical organs. Make effort for yourself to become karmatit. Second, do not desire to have a vision. Neither do you receive liberation by having a vision, nor are your sins cut away. There is no benefit in having a vision. The rust can only be removed by remembering the Father and this knowledge. Blessing, may you be filled with all attainments and your face so that you have received all elevated attainments. At the confluence age, you Brahmin souls have received the blessing. May you be filled with all attainments. Souls who have received such a blessing do not need to make effort. They sparkle on their faces so that they have attained something, that they are souls who are embodiments of attainment. When people see the faces of some children, they say that the destination seems to be very high and that they have had very elevated renunciation. Although their renunciation is visible, their fortune isn't. When you maintain the intoxication of having all attainments and so that fortune So that fortune, they will then easily be attracted to come. Slogan, success is merged where there is zeal and enthusiasm in a gathering of unity that follows one direction. Slogan, success is merged where there is zeal and enthusiasm in a gathering of unity that follows one direction. Om Shanti.